Turkey has built the world's largest army of armed drones. As drones change the face of modern warfare, their price is sinking, their technological sophistication races ahead, and more and more buyers are knocking on Turkey's door. Its flagship Bayraktar TB2 drone has proven effective on battlefields in Ukraine, Libya, Nagorno-Karabakh, and elsewhere. It generally costs less or performs better than rival models. Ankara, surprised at and proud of this success, sees drone sales as increasingly important for the growth of the Turkish defense industry. They may also be a tool for expanding Turkish influence abroad. But how did Turkey build the world's largest army of armed drones? Well, let's get started. The Rise of the Drone Industry in Turkey Turkey's journey into the world of drones began in 1996, when it acquired its first batch of unarmed U.S. drones. According to Engin Yüksel, a researcher at the Dutch Klingendal Research Institute. At that time, Turkey was in a prolonged conflict with the PKK, a Kurdish separatist group entrenched in the mountainous southeast. Struggling to track down the elusive rebels, the Turkish military saw drones as a potential solution. These drones could linger in the sky for hours, helping pinpoint the precise locations of PKK fighters. However, despite their efforts, by the time F-16 fighter jets arrived on the scene for airstrikes, the targets often vanished. In 2006, Turkey sought to bolster its drone capabilities by ordering 10 Israeli drones. However, delivery delays and operational inefficiencies dampened their effectiveness. Moreover, suspicions arose that data collected by these drones might be shared with Israeli intelligence services. Concurrently, Turkey pursued the purchase of armed U.S. drones for immediate strikes. However, due to escalating tensions with Israel, particularly after the Arab Spring, concerns emerged that such technology could be turned against Israel. Consequently, the U.S. Congress rejected Turkey's request for drone sales in 2010 and 2012. Faced with these setbacks, Turkey pivoted towards developing its drone technology. The leading figures in this endeavor were Turkish Aerospace Industries TAI, and Baikar Makina. TAI, already licensed by General Dynamics to manufacture Turkish F-16 fighter jets, possessed valuable expertise in drone production. Additionally, Baikar Makina, spearheaded by Selçuk Bayraktar, a graduate from MIT, played a crucial role. Bayraktar, returning to Turkey in 2005 after his studies, shifted his focus to developing armed drones. In 2007, he put his PhD studies on hold to fully commit to this venture. By 2009, Baikar Makina secured a contract for the production and sale of the Bayraktar TB2 armed drone. Despite challenges, including the need to import specialized components like engines and sensors, Baikar Makina pressed forward. Many of these components had dual civilian military applications, circumventing export restrictions. In late 2015, the TB2 showcased its capabilities with a successful test, launching a Turkish precision-guided missile from a height of nearly 5,000 meters and hitting a target 8 kilometers away with remarkable accuracy, just within 2 square meters. The TB2 drones were swiftly deployed for their intended purpose, intelligence gathering, surveillance, and targeted strikes against PKK fighters. Their operational range extended from southeastern Turkey to areas near the border with northern Iraq and northern Syria. Beyond their initial role in hunting rebels, drones proved versatile assets in Turkey's defense strategy. Technological Advancements in Turkish Drones Turkey's drone technology has experienced exponential growth in the past decade, marking significant advancements in design, capabilities, and operational efficiency. Turkish drones notably the Bayraktar TB2, TB3, and Kizil Elma, exemplify this technological leap and have positioned Turkey as a formidable player in the global drone market. These models showcase Turkey's ability to produce UAVs that are not only cost-effective, but also technologically sophisticated compared to their global counterparts. The Bayraktar TB2 is a medium-altitude, long-endurance, male, uncrewed combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, that has gained international acclaim for its effectiveness in combat. It's known for a robust operational record, accumulating over 400,000 flight hours globally. 
The TB2 can autonomously take off and land features advanced avionics systems and can carry a variety of payloads, including precision guided munitions. Its ability to operate under diverse conditions and perform critical missions has made it a preferred choice in modern battlefields. The TB2 success is a testament to Turkish engineering prowess, integrating advanced electronics, software, and aerodynamics in a relatively low-cost platform. The Bayraktar TB3 builds on the success of the TB2 with enhanced features designed for naval operations. It supports short takeoff and landing, stall, making it uniquely suited for deployment from Turkey's amphibious assault ships like the TCG Anadolu. This feature allows the TB3 to operate effectively in maritime environments, extending Turkey's influence over its maritime borders and beyond. The TB3's adaptability to aircraft carriers demonstrates Turkey's strategic intent to project power across the sea as well as land. The Kizo Elma represents the cutting edge of Turkish UAV technology. This advanced combat drone features stealth technology, which minimizes its radar signature and enhances its survivability in hostile environments. Designed for high-speed and high-altitude operations, the Kizo Elma can engage in missions that were previously the domain of manned aircraft. It is equipped with a range of modern weapon systems, enabling it to carry out a variety of combat roles, from air-to-ground strikes to air-to-air -air combat. The integration of advanced materials and electronics showcases Turkey's advancements in UAV technology and manufacturing capabilities. Turkish drones incorporate a series of technological innovations that set them apart in the global arena. One significant innovation is their autonomous operating capabilities. Turkish drones utilize advanced artificial intelligence to perform complex tasks such as dynamic rerouting in response to threats or changes in the mission environment, autonomous target recognition, and execution of precision strikes without human intervention. This autonomy is coupled with robust, indigenous avionic systems that allow for real-time data exchange and control, even in contested environments. Another area of innovation is in materials and manufacturing. Turkish drones increasingly employ lightweight composite materials that enhance their endurance and payload capacity while maintaining lower costs. These materials also contribute to the stealth features of drones like the Kizil Elma, reducing their radar cross-section and thermal signature. When compared with drones from other leading nations, such as the USA's MQ-9 Reaper or China's Wing Lung 2, Turkish drones stand out for their cost-effectiveness and operational flexibility. While drones like the MQ-9 feature more advanced weaponry and heavier payload capacities, they are also significantly more expensive and logistically complex. Turkish drones offer a balanced mix of capability and affordability, making them accessible to a broader range of customers internationally. Moreover, Turkish drones have proven their reliability and effectiveness in conflict zones where similar US or Chinese drones have yet to be actively deployed. The operational success of Turkish drones in diverse theaters has provided real-world validation of their designs and capabilities, further enhancing their appeal in the international market. Changing Warfare In contrast to the US and Israel, Turkey employs drones not only against rebel factions, but also in direct military engagements against other nations' armies, according to Arda Mevlutoglu, a defense specialist from Ankara. Operating in tandem with electronic warfare tactics, Turkish drones disrupt enemy anti-aircraft and communication systems, clearing the path for unhindered drone strikes. This coordinated approach, coupled with the deployment of additional military assets like artillery and air force units, allows Turkey to swiftly and efficiently target adversaries lacking modern defense technologies. The effectiveness of this strategy was vividly demonstrated in late February 2020 when the Syrian army, supported by Russian air forces, sought to launch a decisive assault on the remaining rebel stronghold in Idlib, Turkish drones unleashed a relentless barrage of attacks. Within days, Turkish Defense Minister Hulusi Akar reported significant losses on the Syrian side, including casualties, disabled aircraft, tanks, and artillery pieces. Another notable success occurred in June 2020, when Turkish drones intervened in the Libyan conflict. After more than a year under siege, the internationally recognized government in Tripoli 
led by Fayez al-Saraj, face imminent defeat at the hands of General Khalifa Haftar. However, Turkish drone support swiftly turned the tide, pushing back Haftar forces within a week. In late September 2020, Turkish drones played a decisive role in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Following six weeks of intense fighting, Armenian President Nikol Pashinyan conceded defeat and signed a peace treaty in early November, marking a significant victory for Azerbaijan. Throughout these military engagements, the integration of Turkish drones with electronic warfare tactics and precision-guided munitions created a decisive advantage for Ankara or its allied factions. This technological superiority underscores the importance of advanced weaponry in modern warfare. By prioritizing domestic manufacturing for drone components, Turkey reduces reliance on foreign suppliers and mitigates the risk of export restrictions. This self-sufficiency grants Ankara greater independence in projecting military power beyond its borders, providing a strategic advantage on the international stage. Turkey wants more. The drones have evolved into a symbol of Turkish national pride, with Selçuk Bayraktar, their chief architect, achieving celebrity status. In a twist of fate, Bayraktar, following the success of his first precision strike test, tied the knot with President Erdogan's youngest daughter, Sumeye, in May 2016. The president himself occasionally makes appearances to autograph his son-in-law's latest drone models, adding to the spectacle. Meanwhile, Turkish defense firms are fervently developing the next iteration of drones, focusing on enhancing range, payload capacity, and domestic production capability. The goal? Complete self-sufficiency in defense by 2023, a target the Turkish army is vigorously pursuing. This drive for self-reliance is not merely a choice, but a necessity. Facing import restrictions anew, Turkey encountered a setback when Canada halted the export of engines and advanced sensors for Bayraktar TB2 drones due to their use in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Responding swiftly, Turkey's top procurement official, Ismail Demir, announced plans to manufacture optic systems for the drones domestically. Looking ahead, drones could alleviate Turkey's reliance on foreign fighter jets, particularly in light of the U.S. embargo on F-35 sales imposed due to Turkey's acquisition of a Russian anti-aircraft system. To mitigate such risks, Turkey is even venturing into developing its indigenous fighter jet. According to Yuxel, the expertise gained from drone production could prove invaluable in this endeavor, ensuring Turkey's autonomy in defense procurement and operations. Turkey is not alone. Turkey's approach not only underscores the strategic advantage of domestically producing vital weapons technology, but also highlights its feasibility. In less than 10 years since its inaugural successful missile test with the Bayraktar TB2, Turkey has ascended to the ranks of the world's foremost users and manufacturers of attack drones. The Bayraktar TB2 drones have found homes beyond Turkey's borders, with Azerbaijan, Qatar, Ukraine, and Libya's Siraj government among their proud owners. Talks are underway for potential drone exports to Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates. Renowned for their battlefield prowess, Turkish drones offer cost-effectiveness compared to American or Israeli counterparts and sidestep import restrictions. Yet, Turkey isn't alone in this pursuit. China, Iran, and Pakistan have also made significant strides in developing their drone industries, boasting formidable high-end attack models. Even countries like South Africa, Poland, and Belarus are making strides in drone technology, following in Turkey's footsteps to harness capabilities once monopolized by the U.S. and Israel. Around the globe, militaries are investing in autonomous weapon systems, from drones to unmanned ground vehicles, signaling a new era in warfare. China's recent feat of deploying a swarm of 3,051 drones simultaneously into its airspace heralds the future of warfare, where such technologies may become as ubiquitous as drones are today. So, what ethical considerations should be at the forefront of the global conversation surrounding the use and proliferation of armed drones?